Hi, my name is Xander, and I'm here to help you understand why the corporate art style, also known as corporate Memphis, needs to die. Hello, friends. You guys have good taste, right? So when I say this looks horrible, we can we can be in agreement on that, right? This art style says, hi, how are you today? But then looks away before I can offer an actual answer. It's a customer service representative that says, I'm sorry, but I don't care to help you. Oh, the Freudian slip. Freudian slipped right on your face. I think you meant to say, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Yes, I'm sorry. I mean, there no, just stop. You don't give a shit about me. You just said it yourself. And now you're trying to backtrack so I don't hit up the complaint line and report you by name, which I remember, by the way, Kim. I'm sorry. But there's nothing I can do, unfortunately. That's what this art style did to me. I never thought I'd see an image or a set of images that make me feel patronized just by looking at it. In the early 2000s, we had clip art, remember that? Well, <coughs> I wasn't much for that stuff either, but I didn't feel the hatred for it as I feel for this garbage. It's almost like it's the evolution of early 2000s clip art, except this is evolved but inbred. It dropped out of high school to pursue freelance painting, but not like a trendy, cool kind of painting like graffiti or street art, whatever you want to call it. They're trying to freelance paint like an old-timey 15th century style. It's a pretty unique style, and no one really does it, so I'm optimistic I could start doing family portraits or something. Yeah, maybe like once or twice a year if you're lucky. Why you gotta be so negative? I'm being a realist, dude. Why couldn't you finish high school? It's the bare minimum! And none of these people look like anyone I've ever met or known. And they do that on purpose in an effort to be inclusive. You can't be racist towards someone that doesn't have a race. But oddly enough, this almost achieves the inverse because when you vague someone or a group of people down so much, they don't really resemble anyone. If this guy right here was real and he had close approximations of all the same features that he has in this cartoon hellscape world in real life, what do you think his Tinder profile would say? Well, I'm an app developer, I love to travel, I'm a coffee addict, and I'm a cat video connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> it's on its way to becoming the comic sans of art styles. In five years, it's gonna be the face of memes. Like, every other meme is gonna incorporate this horrendous looking art style in some way. Matter of fact, they actually have kind of a head start because look at look at this genius. Hold on. Duh. Look look at the genius that is this parody image. I, I would venture to say that the the graphics one is almost scarier than the original. Ugh, this beer's making me burpy. And look, it's not bad from a graphics slash technical standpoint, but it's it's soulless in the same way that stock photos are. I. I I don't think that stock photos get recognized enough for being as far down in the uncanny valley as they are. A lot of stock photos and videos portray people doing things that are almost true to life, but aren't. And you could say the exact same for this art style. It's just the sheer amount of forced positivity. All the characters radiate the same kind of happiness you would only get while high on Adderall. And you already know if you see these little bastards pop up in a video, they're gonna be to the accompaniment, th is that a word? They're gonna, <laughs> They're gonna be accompanied by the sound of a ukulele and or a xylophone. They only use yellow, light purple, and this puke mixed with blood. Okay, so I'm ripping into this, <laughs> into this art style right now. And while I was researching for this video, I found that a lot of people feel very similarly. I mean, th this whole idea came from when I was talking to a bunch of friends and we were just like, God, I hate that art style. Well, the style was first developed by, co oh shit, oh my God. Oh my <laughs> Dude, come on. Come on, that's pretty that's clever. That's fun, right? Drop a like. Drop me a like. Anyway, um Well the style was first developed by a company called Buck. Except it's not it's not that kind of buck, it's this kind of buck. So Buck was approached by Facebook to do a complete redesign of their entire illustration and animation ecosystem. Well, little did they know they were gonna redesign the entire internet because every company under the sun copied them. Buck came up with this whole thing and they named the style Alegria, which is Spanish for joy. 
I think it's pretty ironic, personally. I'm actually glad it was Facebook that spawned this monstrosity and not like Steam or LaCroix or some other company that I actually have respect for. There are many imitators, but there's only one. Alegria. Yeah, thank God. Uh, you know what, Alegria? That was a good pronunciation. You're the imitator. Yeah, I'm calling you out. You ripped off Art Deco. You know what I'm talking about? Like back in the 1920s and 30s, Art Deco represented luxury, glamour, exuberance, and the faith in social and technological progress. I guess that's more like a 50s accent. Discount Art Deco looking at. But they admittedly look pretty similar, and I'm sure there was some inspiration taken from Art Deco in the creation process. So why is this one sleek and sexy, but this one is and I really thought about this. I, I really took a critical look to both art styles and tried to figure out what, what makes this one so bad and Art Deco so good. It's because Art Deco is relatable. I mean, this guy, this badass looking swaggered out, standing in front of a plain looking dude, on, on some level, I can relate to that. I, I can relate to wanting to be that. I can relate to her. She's just hanging out, feeling herself. It's And it's not particularly like over exaggerated or special or anything like that, but neither is real life half the time. But also Art Deco, it's a style that carries this certain sense of strength and confidence. It's the kind of art style that when you walk in the room and see it, you know, you're a little nervous because you want to impress it. You feel a little extra special when it laughs when you crack a joke. You know, it's just wearing a spiffy looking suit, but not like a used car salesman kind of suit. No, more like a, yeah, I have a pretty important position here at the firm, but I try to keep in mind where I came from. It offers you a glass of expensive whiskey and says, <laughs> You're all right, kid. And then you compare that to- Hey, you could pour soup in my lap and I'll probably apologize to you. Anyway, I hate it. I hope you do too, otherwise this whole video is gonna come off really infuriating. I guess it's, it's all uphill from here. Hopefully. Hey man, if you're new here, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a, if you gave me a little subscribe rooney there. If you subscribe with, with notifs on, I'll be your friend. And everyone else that also subbed with notifs on, will also be your friend. Thanks a lot for watching and sticking around through my, whatever this was, bye.